So this is a video I've made before and I put it on my channel twice. Both of those have been deleted. But I decided I really need to put this video up and I, this time I'm going to keep it because I only want to have to explain this once. My opinion on children and why I refuse to have them. See, people talk about life as if it's this precious gift. but. Jesus Christ, it feels more like a punishment sometimes. And, you know, for me, just, you know, every time I hear people talking about how they, about having kids and stuff, I mean, let's be honest, some people say it's the greatest thing you do, can do in life, but I feel like it's the most selfish decision you can make in life. Because having a kid, it's all about you. You know, it's all about, you know, I want to fulfill some need in my life. I need somebody to take care of. I don't want to disappoint my mother. Me, 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 me. You know, when, the, when you make the decision to have the kid, no thought goes into the child itself. It's all about you fulfilling one of your own needs. You know, and me personally, life is tough. Life is difficult. It's hard. And especially for me, I suffer from depression. I've tried to kill myself before. And I just... You know, thinking back on my life and just all the difficulties I've had, you know, it's still not worth it yet. I still haven't reached a point in my life where I really felt like all of this bullshit I've gone through was actually worth it. You know, I still feel like, in all honesty, right now in my life, if I could go back in time and erase myself from existence, make, make it so that I was never born in the first place, I would happily do that. Because nothing that I went through feels like it was worth it right now. And me personally, I cannot in good consciousness make the decision to bring a human being into this world knowing all the pain and suffering they are going to go through just to fill my own selfish desires. I can't do that to somebody else. Uh, and so that's, especially when you think about the fact that there are so many that are already in this world and they have no one to turn to. Like me personally, my opinion on family is different from what a lot of people will up feel like. Like for me, family has nothing to do with who you're related to because if you look at it close enough out, I share a lot of DNA in common with so many complete and total strangers who I will never actually meet. You know, and for me, family has nothing to do with blood and who you're related to. You know, family is about the people you love and care for most, who love and care for you the most. Just because you give birth to someone doesn't mean you're, you're a mother. You, know, you don't deserve to call yourself a mother if you give birth to somebody and then never do anything after that. That doesn't make you a mom. Loving and caring for the child and sacrificing to make sure that they have the best life possible, that makes you a mother. But, you know, giving birth to somebody and then spending the rest of, most of their childhood pretending that they don't exist. You know, that's, that doesn't make you a mom. It doesn't. I don't have a mother. There's a bitch who gave birth to me, but she didn't do shit after that. You know, and I'm supposed to be happy and grateful that she gave me this beautiful gift of life. Fuck no, I hate her for that. I, w I, I wish she hadn't done that. I wish she'd gotten an abortion. Which she probably would have done if it wasn't for her religious beliefs. She never wanted me in the first place. I'm supposed to be grateful to her. That's her boyfriend knocked her up and she just didn't get rid of me. That's not something worth praising. It's not. You know, it's, so for me personally, because of the experiences that I've had in my life, I could never choose to get a woman pregnant. I would go out of my way to avoid that scenario. And... Especially because, like I said, there are already so many people in this world, so many children who are going through all this bullshit and they're going through it alone. And they just need at least one human being on this planet who can care about them, who they know will always be there for them. And so for me, even at times I feel like adoption can be a selfish thing because... You know, a lot of people can go in and it's like, oh, this one's cute, I'll take her. And then if she turns out to be a piano prodigy or something, you, know, you can be like, oh, see, that was my, ch that was me. You know, I raised her, I took her in when she had nothing. Yeah, this was all me. But if they turn out to be a total shithead or like a rapist, murderer, a drug, drug lord, whatever, then you can always just turn back and say, oh, she was already messed up when we found her. There was nothing we could do. You know? 
So, I mean, from, that's just my own opinion, though. I still encourage adoption, as long as it's for the right reasons. Uh, and also, especially foster care, because me, what I want to do when my life reaches a point of both emotional and financial stability, you know, I want to be able to open my home to foster children, because I know for me personally, high school was the worst four years of my life. That's when I tried to kill myself. And so for me, the hardest part was that wasn't that I was getting beat up at school or that you know I couldn't get a girlfriend. You know I didn't really care that people were making fun of me. The hardest part was that I had no one to talk to. I've never had a safe place where I felt comfortable really calling home. You know, I never had anyone I could go to with my problems. And so for me, that's what I want to do. You know, for these kids you know, who are especially going through the worst moments of their life. I want them to have a bed that they can always feel comfortable sleeping in, a roof that they know will always be over their head, and at least one human being on this planet who will never give up on them. So that's what I want to do. That's how I feel I can make the world a better place than what it is right now. And so for me, you know, to all my friends, past, present, and future, if I don't congratulate you on having kids, sorry. You know, part of me really hates you for making the decision to go through with this. You know, I may not say it out loud to your face, but you know, as soon as you tell me, oh, you're pregnant, a little part of me just loses a small amount of respect for you. And that's just because, like I said, there's a whole story behind this. I've had a rough life. But at the same time, it's just, I mean, this is what I feel. That's, that's just how I feel about the world and how we can help improve it. So that's just me. I mean, if you really want kids, you know, adoption, foster care, there are other options, better options. The world's already overpopulated as it is, and there are plenty of people lost and alone, you know, little kids who needs a parent, needs just somebody who can be there for them. And I just feel like that's a much better option and much, much, much less selfish. And so, yeah, there you have it. That's that's why I won't have kids. I refuse to have kids of my own. The only reason I haven't had a vasectomy yet is, one, money, but that's like only 13% of it. The other 87% of it is just the fact that I have issues with sharp objects around my penis. But in all honesty, if I have to die without ever having sex again, I would be more than willing to do that just because I do not want to get someone else pregnant. I refuse. <clears throat>